I made the mistake of painting PCBs so you don't have to. Spoiler alert, it turned out pretty well. Alright guys, the two graphics cards that I'm going to be uh, painting are these two, this guy, this is a uh, HD5450. I have several of these, don't ask me why, I just do. And then a graphics card from the past, uh, a video that'll be linked, you know, where it's, where it's supposed to be. Um, and maybe you should try revisiting that video. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the uh, GT 9800 or 9800 GT from that video with the most derpy cooler in the world. Yeah, boy, custom. It actually cools very well. And hopefully by the end of this video, it'll have a better cooler. Um, I'm only painting the PCBs on these, um, or at least the top PCB or bottom, depending on how you look at it. Um, and then uh, maybe in another video, I will paint the... Uh, the heat sinks, and maybe that'll be like a part two or something. Um, but I'm going to do the painting, and then I will take these and run them on my test bed of things that I can destroy uh, without harming my main system. Yep. Let's get right down to it. Boy! Yeah. Just as a quick recap, I did tape off all the places that I did not want paint to get on. So basically the ends, uh, the contact points for SLI, the PCIe obviously, and then the contact points for displays. See? Both of them. And now it's time to get to the fun part. Pardon the messy desk, but I do believe it is conclusion time. And as you can see, they turned out pretty decently. But I did have some issues with the painting because I had some cat hair that got on there and then it looked terrible. Um, I ran these for probably about an hour running uh, some benchmarking loops and I noticed no problems. The only potential problem was this graphics card, and that was because it was saying it was just a general 5400 series graphics card instead of a 5450, but that could be a multitude of issues. It was just having issues installing drivers in general, but again, that could be multitude of issues. Um, there were no cooling issues. I mean, this guy never really got surprisingly above, what was it, about 50, 60 Celsius, and then this guy never got above 50 Celsius. Granted, he's got a pretty beefy cooler. Maybe eventually I'll paint this guy and build a proper shroud for both of these. I'm sorry I did not get to that in this video, but that can be a separate video for modding PC parts. I did just buy a crap ton of plexiglass um, so I can do those types of things. I'm actually going to be using some plexiglass to be building a ton of different things and modding a ton of different computer cases hopefully soon. Um, 
thank you for joining me. Uh, maybe there will be a part three or something of this where I do do some other mods. Maybe I'll paint the bottom of the PCB, see where that gets me as much as I can. And I think that concludes this episode. Uh, if you found this enjoyable and you found this useful, please like down below. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And uh, yeah, that's really it. If you disliked it, please tell me why. Please tell me why because I want to improve. I want to get better because I enjoy uh, YouTube and creating stuff to help others. Uh, anyways, I think that's all. Uh, goodbye. Thank you for joining me.